Let's make a kishka. First up, pointlessly shuffle your vegetables around before moving everything off the cutting board except for the onion. You're going to chop that up along with the red bell pepper, the sweet potato, and the garlic. Then you're going to move everything over to a baking dish, seasoning with kosher salt, freshly ground black pepper, a generous helping of smoked paprika, and optionally, some cayenne pepper if you like a spicy sausage. Last but not least, coat it all with some extra virgin olive oil, mix it up, and toss it in the oven at about 400 American or 200 rest of the world. Meanwhile, rinse off your black beans and let them dry. We don't want any extra liquid in the mix. After about 20 minutes, your veggies should be ready. Go ahead and put those into your food processor along with a half cup of black beans, matzo meal, and olive oil. I've just got this dinky food processor. If you also have a dinky food processor, you might need to mix things up a few times to make sure everything gets properly processed. Just go ahead and fold everything in. If you say fold in, it says fold it in! Then dump your paste. Oy, that sounds a little gross. Place your paste on the parchment paper and shape it into a sausage-like roll. Have your wife or partner of choice pop in with a spatula to course correct because the dough is a bit wet and shape it with said spatula instead. When you're happy with your sausage, wrap it up tightly with an outer layer of tin foil like a chipotle burrito and bake that for an hour. After baking, let the kishka rest for a good 30 minutes or so, if not another hour, before carefully opening it up. I will be the first to admit that this is not the prettiest dish in the world. But who cares if it tastes good, right?